Hi, I'm Stephanie Rosie. I'm a film and digital photographer, and I shoot with a lot of toy cameras, and so that's what we're going to be working with today. So it's not even a memory, but I have a picture of myself from when I was a baby, and I mean, like, I couldn't even walk yet, and I was propped up on a on the coffee table, and I had like a Minolta lens cap in my mouth that I was chewing, and so like. My dad was a photographer, and so it was just kind of always around. So I don't really have like that first memory, but it's just always there. And I'm an old person, so film was kind of the only thing that was around when I was a kid. Um, but I was always a shutterbug, so I just always really enjoyed taking pictures. And then I got my first like real camera, which was the Minolta X700, it's an SLR. And I was about 14 when I got that camera, so always wanted to do it. I think for me the the best part of film and I and I think this is almost like the gift that digital photography gave us because digital is like so perfect like you can just play with film. You can you know get really old like expired film which is one of my favorite things to work with and you don't know what you're gonna get. Um, you can get some really beautiful, like, clean portrait and take something just like super professional and crisp if that's what you want. But I just really like to experiment and that's my favorite part of film because you never are quite sure what's gonna happen. So I've just always shot film that I don't think about it, you know, in that, in that way. Um, I've always been a big fan of black and white and so I think having, like, Growing up shooting a lot of Tri-X and shooting a lot of HP5, like that really honed my skills as far as like seeing light and understanding like light and shadow. Whereas you don't get that with um, you don't get that with digital and you don't get it as much with color photography, color film. Right now I'm doing a lot of landscape work. Um, when I first started like shooting in earnest, it was a lot of live bands and going to shows and going to punk and hardcore shows in Philly where I grew up. Um, but that's pretty intense to do and obviously we can't do it right now with COVID. So went out to Yosemite a few weeks ago. I'm going out to Yosemite again in another couple weeks. I'm just really looking forward to experimenting with different cameras and getting some cool landscapes. I prefer film. Um, Again, because I just, I don't know what's gonna happen a lot of times. Um, I always keep a stock of just like weird film. I shop a lot at Film Photography Project and they always have like really low ISO stuff or expired slide film or whatever. And I just like to grab a couple rolls and see what happens. No, no, you can come close. You can definitely come close. You can play with curves and you can add grain and lens flare and all that, but it just is never quite there. It's just a little too clean. For me, there is. Um, when I'm shooting film, I'm just like, it's just like my day to day. If I'm picking up a digital camera, like it's for a purpose. And most of my digital photography is like night photography, astrophotography. So I'm not gonna do that as much with film. I really just love to take like a, like a couple toy cameras and go somewhere and just shoot like double exposures, triple exposures, um, take subjects that are like, you know, really classic things like if I'm in Yosemite and I'm shooting El Cap and just try and get it from a different perspective. Get it in a way that, you know, isn't that like iconic Ansel Adams shot and it's my shot. Uh, I, Probably try x uh, It's just classic. It always works. You can push it if you need to. It's great for daytime, nighttime. Uh, big second place, I'd say Kodak Black and White Double X. It's a little more cinematic, a little more interesting. But try x I'd shoot that for the rest of my life. Big fan of the Nikon F3. Um, that's kind of been my my camera du jour. And then. I, I love toy cameras. I'd say like my second place or like my favorite medium format uh, would be the Holga. I think digital digital exists for a purpose, and I you can play with digital. Um, you can definitely like get weird and put all sorts of weird lens effects and stuff on it, and like you can get some cool experimental stuff. You can definitely get creative with it, but it's just not the same. Um, I think film has creativity already built into it. 
film stocks are different, you get different looks, different textures, different colors, it varies from camera to camera, lens to lens, whereas you're shooting a digital camera, you're probably not gonna have six or seven digital cameras you know, in your cadre that you can kind of experiment with. Whereas you can go to the thrift store and get like a five or $10 point and shoot, or maybe like you come across like a $30, $40 SLR if you're lucky. And you're gonna get, you can put the exact same film in those, the exact same lighting, exact same setting, you get something different every time. I think printing is probably the most challenging thing because it's so easy to just scan your film and it's on your computer and that's it, you don't think about it anymore. And I think it's so important, whether you're just, you're printing it at the drugstore or you're going into the dark room, that you need to, you need to print your work. It's that last step that really makes the photo complete. I mean, I hope that there continues to be a future of film photography. I think there's a lot of um, companies out there right now that are starting out, that are you know, trying to bring old film stocks back, trying to bring old formats back. Uh, and I hope that sticks around. Like, I really hope that people continue to support film. I know right now it's super tough because film is expensive, you know? This is not a cheap hobby, even if you go super lo-fi, like we're gonna do on this shoot today. But, um, I just, I hope that if you've discovered film, like you just stick with it and you support those small businesses that are, that are innovating. I'm Stephanie Rosie and I shoot film.